So anyway, getting back to Einstein, um, um, after they settle the fact that we'll both get photographs, <laughs> Einstein said, but I have one more request of you. I walk home every day and I don't like to carry things, so could you drop the flamingo off at my house? So he said, yes, we'll be happy to, to do that. Well, with that, Dr. Marnie uh, took the flamingo and started to wrap it up carefully. And both Einstein and I said in one word, oh, you don't have to do that. The house is right down the street. Just put the uh, flamingo in the bag. So that's what he did. And um, we left Einstein. We were there about three hours. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> much to the secretary. But I really enjoyed the meeting. He was yeah. very much down to earth, not uh, the kind of outstanding person mm -hmm. that you might expect. So, um, getting into the car, we left Einstein's office and walked past the receptionist holding our heads up like this. We didn't want, neither one of us dared look at her because we were so far beyond 20 minutes. So far. So we got to the car. I opened the door for Dr. Monty and he got in, put the duffel bag on his lap and reached forward to grab the door. I should have closed it for him, but I didn't. I, in the meantime, started to walk around the back of the car. And what happened was Einstein, I mean, Monty had the bag on his lap and as he leaned forward, he snapped the beak oh, of the flamingo. Oh. Isn't that awful? Oh, it is awful. Well, he was ready to cry. I bet. He brought that off from all the way from India. Well, anyway, I said to him, we'll go to the 5 and 10 and we'll get some gold. <laughs> so we went to the 5 and 10. And this is before they had the epoxy glues. They still had this so-called airplane glue. Yeah. You're familiar with yeah, that, sure. Yeah. So we got the glue and drove back to Einstein's house and sat up in front of his house. <laughs> and I held the beak in place until I thought the glue had hardened sufficiently. <laughs> and then a few minutes more, just to be sure. Well, finally we said, okay, let's take it in. So we knocked on the door and Einstein's housekeeper, I forget her name now, but she's a pretty well-known person. Do you remember the name, Rose? No. I think it was anyway, a relative. We told her what had happened, that Einstein had promised us a photograph. And she said, well, it's a good thing you told me because uh, Einstein means well, but he would have forgotten. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I'll see to it that it gets in the mail tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And then we decided to be honest with her. We said, we have to tell you that the beak <laughs> broke, but I fixed it. <laughs> With glow from the fire. And she, she picked it up and looked at it and said, oh, he'll never notice that, and put it very carefully on the piano. Nice. So we had a nice talk with her about 30, 40 minutes. <laughs> and then we left.